seasons change, the colors of your wardrobe might change as well. But what kind of message are you sending when you sport orange? Our brand and image consultant has the answer. It's your life. When it comes to home decor and design, certain colors can affect your mood, but have you ever considered how colors can impact your closet and also the impression you give to other people? Hmm. We have image and brand consultant Natalie Weekly here to talk us through the psychology of color in today's color, orange. Woo! <laughs> Energy, excitement. See, I, okay, I went big. I was like, you went big with an orange dress. Yeah, I and I feel it. like she's been shouting at me all day. It's a little like I need my sunglasses. <laughs> and that is perfect. You guys are doing this segment for me. It's awesome. Energy, excitement, creativity, warmth, exuberance, all of those things are the color, are the meaning behind orange. So if you want to add a little happiness into your life, add orange in. Yes, it's the perfect space to add it. You can do it via makeup, via your accessories, home decor, finding out what the right color of orange is for you. I know a lot of people are scared of orange. And so, first of all, major props to you for committing. And then, <laughs> I actually love orange. It's I great. was going to wear the same thing in a jumpsuit, but I was afraid would people would think so I was good. a prisoner. Orange is also, the new <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we start over here? So you mentioned the orange eyeshadow. So we're not just talking about clothing and accessories. No, it's everywhere. But also, what is all this stuff? Lip uh, stuff okay. and eye stuff? Yes, tons of things have a name. But <laughs> Lip stuff, eye stuff, I mean, I know it's not technical but, name. <laughs> but I do have two things. First of all, the packaging itself. If you notice, this is called pep start. This is called energy boosting. They're using and brightening. All of those things tend to go with orange packaging. Because okay, I kind of like color. this one. It's a hand mask, little hand gloves. Isn't that great? It's a brighten, That's a renew. Cool idea. Bring your bring new life to it. That but all I still fits don't get it. So, so if you're buying something in orange packaging in Sephora, is it like the clerk ringing you up who thinks you're a bold person? <laughs> no. It doesn't Help me understand. It doesn't Seriously. quite work that way. Color. From a marketing perspective, orange, first of all, is eye-catching. So, of course, you're going to gravitate toward the orange thing first because it's gravitate. It has that. But it has the same feelings, just like we said. It has happy. It has, okay, it's Monday. Uh, so how about orange? Yay. This And pep start. I'm getting energy. And is there psychology behind this that actually shows that yes. that can help you know, improve our mood? Yes. They've done a lot of studies on really? children, adults. Then give me all that. Right. Right. Okay, yeah. all the orange oh, yeah. okay. goes to you. Well, I know. For a lot of folks that may not be as bold, to wear, let's say, an orange dress or go head to toe in orange, you can do a ton of accessories. Add that little Absolutely. extra pop. Definitely. And it is. it pairs well with all of your neutrals. It pairs well with blues, uh, which I'm going to show a lot of here in a second. But that pop of color is great when, again, you want to bring a little bit of life and energy to your outfit. You have some really cool shades of orange, too, by the way. Some of them look a little more pink. Some of them are a little, you know, have more of a red tone. Right. It's not so, like a Halloween orange. No. <laughs> We're sticking more with the warmer, not so Halloween-y. But um, when when you are thinking about what orange works best for you, if this orange is a little too dark for you, putting it in a clutch is the perfect place to put that because it's not necessarily right next to your skin tone, but it can still complement your outfit. If you're more of a light tone or even well, really lighter and uh, a little bit warm, then this corally and peachy tone would work well for you too. What about adding the color orange into your home? How do you do it? Small doses or go big or go home? Generally speaking, you want to go small doses. If it's a bright you color. You can go big, but then other people might want to go home. Um, <laughs> oh, that's good. I like that. That's very funny. Maybe like an orange door or something yes. like that. So, like I mentioned, warm, warm, exciting. Uh, think Tigger. Think even in the movie Brave, her hair is this wild mess of orange because yeah. she's thinking, I want to be brave. Oh, yeah, Merida's hair. Yes. Yeah. And um, when you think about orange, yes, an orange door, maybe an orange rug. Generally, you want to go with pops of color. And you've done some orange books here. I have. It's a fun idea. Fun or and even look at the titles, The Happiness Advantage, Born to Win, Made to Stick. It's all, they're thinking about those things as they're picking those colors and they're being intentional. You kind of offset it with the white and the gray and a little touch of blue. Mm -hmm. And the same way you mentioned that, you know, orange items can improve your mood. If, if you're surrounding yourself by little accessories that are orange, that also can improve your mood? Absolutely. So it's if you're sitting in an office wearing. all day that's gray and, you know, filled with like black and that's brown gonna books, and that's going to be kind of a downer? Yes, it absolutely is. So what about getting into like that? People, creative sector. Does orange help That's that? exactly what it is, yes. Because it takes the passion of red and the brightness of yellow. And orange is considered actually the hottest color. So August is perfect for August. And it does give you that energy and that creativity. Again, it's Painting our walls orange in at small work doses. <laughs> That's a great idea. My mom's been writing a book in her office. I should get her like some orange stuff Absolutely. to help inspire the creativity. That would be perfect. All right, so you also have some orange yes. clothing examples over here. I do. So 
You may recall, we talked about blue also a while back. When you're mixing orange and blue, this is some of the deeper orange tones, but when you're mixing those, you've got the creativity and the warmth, but you've also got that dependability and loyalty. So you're seeing a lot of orange and blue in office spaces, and even you guys' logos still has that, the orange and blue that it's, we're trustworthy, we're dedicated, and also we've got that So you're m making it more subdued and anchoring. I mean, so, sorry, Jennifer, not to pick on you, I am not. but someone who wears all orange, what is... What does this mean? Brave. We're saying brave. We're saying oh. bold. We're saying <laughs> committed to the moment. Jump all in. It's perfect. She is committed to the she moment. She's committed. I can Absolutely. vouch for that. Yes. I really like with orange, depending on the shade, like I'll do coral with, say, a royal blue. Absolutely. And then, like, doing this, you re the regular shade of orange. Yes. You know, pop it with turquoise. Oh, it's the best. When you see um, some of these, like, a lot of times you see it actually in the material itself where it's already faded. Orange Orange and blue is your easiest combination. That's going to be the easiest. So if for anyone who's scared of orange, they need to go with orange and blue. That's a good starting place. Real quick, what about orange and black? Always a no-no? Not always. Not if it's it, October 31st. It is going to go <laughs> a, a little bit toward Halloween. And um, so you would need to, if you mix it in with colors like this, this is orange and black, but we've got the white, we've got the tan, so it's softening that orange and black's contrast. we got to leave it right there, Natalie Weekly. Unfortunately, we are out of time, but thank you so much. And thank for you. more info on Natalie's style, Styling services, just visit natalieweekly.com.